I wanted to make a quick video showing the benefits of GPU acceleration that you can get uh, with Adobe Premiere and uh, GPU acceleration. And as you can see here, I've got a video here that I'm working on and I've got it set to um, GPU acceleration and you can see I can scroll through it and it plays fine and if I hit play as you can see it plays through pretty good and plays through like it should and let me stop it and let's go and I'll change it back to uh, where it's just working off of the CPU and show you the difference so you go up here to project project settings general and right here you'll see video render and playback and right now I have it on Mercury playback engine GPU acceleration if you've got a, a GPU that's set that can do it you'll have that option if you don't you won't even have this option but I'm gonna set it back to software only and that's going to turn it off and that's going to put it back on the CPU instead of the GPU I'm going to hit OK alright let's see and you can see here it turned back to red above it instead of it was yellow a second ago and if I go to play through and I hit play you can't really see a difference right now it's pretty much just the same and the reason for that is this uh, computer I'm working on has two CPUs on it it's got two Intel Xeon CPUs each of them had eight cores so it's got 16 cores so the CPU can handle it pretty good but let me add some video effects and let's see if uh, Let's slow down, try to slow down the video as much as we can. Okay, so I went through and added a three-way color correction to it. And you can see that it's... It doesn't scroll through like it was, and if we hit play, it plays back real choppy. It doesn't play back like it should. And that's because I've added effects to it and it's starting to bog down the CPU and it won't play back right so now that we've got it to where the CPU can't play it back smooth let's go back project settings general and let's switch back to GPU acceleration hit OK and let's see if if the GPU can handle it and you, you can see I can scroll through it pretty easy and let's hit play and it plays back just like it should it's just uh, just like there wasn't any effect added to it really it's playing back just right at the speed it needs to play back yet and everything no choppiness or anything so there there you can see how uh, we bogged down the CPU and to where it couldn't handle it and then we were able to go to the GPU acceleration and it can uh, play it back just fine now if you need it to you could play that with the CPU but let's see going I switched back to the software only back to the CPU hit OK and What would you have to do to get it to play back smooth? You'd have to go up to um, sequences, render entire work area, and hit that, and the CPU will go through and render it to where you can play through it and edit it smoothly, you know, and all that without any problems. But you see here, it's saying it's going to take three minutes for the CPU to go through and render that. I'm going to cancel that. Let me switch back to the GPU acceleration right here now if you add a bunch more layers and a lot more effects you can even get to the point where you bog down the GPU but let's say you went and did the same thing 
with the GPU to render it. And you can see here, it's going through and what the CPU said was going to take three minutes, this thing's probably going to get done in 15 seconds maybe, I'm guessing. Maybe a little less, I don't know. And so that shows you the big difference it is in it. And it's the benefits you can get from it. What would take the CPU three minutes, the GPU does in 15 seconds. So, and this is a, this video card that I've got is a GTX 580. It's the older versions. You can get newer ones now that have more memory and more um, CUDA cores and they can do even better. So, um, there you have it, the benefits of GPU acceleration. Thank you for watching.